Taiwan will stage its largest war games in mid-September to test the combat readiness and defense strategies of its armed forces against a possible military attack by Beijing, which claims sovereignty over the self-ruled island. Tuesday's announcement from the Taiwanese military came as the Chinese People's Liberation Army geared up for a mega five-day military drill in the South China Sea later in the week, even as the U.S. stages its biggest war games for 40 years in the region. Taiwan's annual live-fire Han Kuang military exercise, involving all branches of the force, will be staged within the island and its offshore islets for five days from September 13, with simultaneous air, sea and land drills. A test of emergency take-offs and landings of fighter jets on the Jiadong wartime runway, a major element of the exercise, will be conducted as planned, said Major General Lin Wen Huang, director of the Defense Ministry's Operations and Planning Office. Warplanes will for the first time test emergency takeoffs and landings on the Jiadong section of Provincial Highway No. 1 in Pingtung, southern Taiwan, designated as a wartime runway for the Air Force. Taiwan has four other emergency landing strips on the Sun Yat-sen Freeway, all of which have been tested for similar emergency usability. The drill will simulate a scenario in which Taiwan's military and civilian airports and airstrips are seriously damaged by enemy fire, and jets have to land on the highway, military officials said. Lin declined to give further details of the exercise, which has been held annually since 1984 in the form of live fire drills and computerized war games, simulating the scenario of the PLA taking military action against the island. This year's computerized drills were held from April 23 to 30, but the live fire exercises originally scheduled to be held last month were postponed due to a widening domestic COVID-19 outbreak that started in late April. Although case numbers have gone down, the defense ministry decided against inviting local media and foreign guests to cover or observe next month's war games to reduce the risk of infection, Lin said. And ministry spokesman Major General Shi Shun Wen said the military was still evaluating if it should call up the 8,000 reservists to join in the drills as planned in a test of the armed forces' mobilizing abilities. Shi declined to comment on reports that Japan planned to deploy ground self-defense force missile units on Ishigaki Island just 300 kilometers off the coast of Taiwan, in an effort to counter PLA's growing naval presence in the area and defend against a potential Chinese attack. We will do our best to ensure our combat readiness and safeguard our national security. We will also work with like-minded countries to continue to strengthen military exchanges and cooperation in order to increase our defense capability and ensure stability in the Taiwan Strait and peace in the region," she said. Meanwhile, Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen said the island would focus on increasing asymmetric warfare capability against PLA threats. This includes development of our homegrown precision weapons or firearms with high mobility, she said in a statement released by her office detailing her recent interview with Japanese magazine Bengay Shunju. Sai also said the island needed to work with partners in boosting security and stability in the Taiwan Strait, and proposed setting up an East Asian security dialogue mechanism to achieve this aim. In Washington on Monday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Japanese National Security Advisor Akiba Takeo reiterated the importance of the U.S.-Japan alliance for maintaining an inclusive, free and open Indo-Pacific, as well as preserving peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. The Secretary and the National Security Advisor reiterated their shared opposition to any unilateral attempts to change the status quo in the East China Sea and activities that undermine, destabilize, or threaten the rules-based international order. State Department spokesman Ned Price said. They pledged to maintain peace and stability, lawful unimpeded commerce, and respect for international law, including freedom of navigation and overflight and other lawful uses of the sea in the South China Sea and beyond, Price said.
don't forget to like our video and subscribe for our channel.